It's Wednesday, November 1st, 2023. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Las Vegas Convention Center for SEMA Day 2. I already got the video up from day one uh, this morning, and uh, so that's already getting some views. I did decide to break it up because it was very crowded yesterday. It was very hard to get the shots I really wanted to get on these cars. So and besides, I need to come back uh, for a meeting this morning. Uh, so this is probably going to be a shorter video than the one from yesterday, but it is a part two. Uh, so let's go have a look. At least it's a vintage vehicle, although it is a lifted truck. <laughs> Best of both worlds, I guess. Look at this one. So I did get the video up this morning. Uh, the hotel Wi-Fi wasn't the best. I actually had to upload it on my phone, which AT&T sent me a nasty text about using so much of my unlimited minutes, which, you know, if you know about AT&T, they're not really unlimited minutes. They, they throttle your speeds down if you use too many of your unlimited minutes. But I did get the video up. Yeah, look at this K5 Blazer. Not sure how long this video is going to be. Like I said, I do have a meeting to go to. And then my kid called me and said, hey, when are you going to pick me up today? <laughs> so I actually do have to drive back to Pasadena probably in the early afternoon. At least I can bring you a little bit more SEMA. Uh, Jeep pickup. So next weekend, I'm off to Irwindale Raceway, much closer to home, for Nitro Revival. Of uh, some vintage drag racing. That's a great event. Uh, the weekend after that, I'm either going to Pleasanton for good guys or to Radwood, LA. Ourselves, right? And then the following day is Long Beach. If I do Pleasanton, there's a very good chance I will not be doing Long Beach. So it depends on how I am after, because Pleasanton is obviously a massive day of walking. I try to get the uh, Hoonigan area while they're not playing music. The uh, Travis Pastrana Subaru from the uh, Gymkhana video. This car was actually here last year. So I did not get over to this side of the outside area yesterday. Nine o'clock rolls around. I need to be inside filming. So this Fuse's pickup. K5 Blazer. C10. Of course, I do have some music now. A carbon fiber charger. I we saw this one, I believe, last year here. That's 1957 Cadillac. This one is the Eldorado Seville. We have a rat rod. This one is diesel powered. There's a welder up build. Harley 
Harlequin Audi. Or if we're used to seeing this treatment on a uh, Volkswagen. A lot of Datsun Z cars yesterday. Have the uh, Hoonigan Unicorn. Uh, lifted international a bit different now for those that don't know I tend to focus in on more of the vintage type vehicles in my video since uh, that's kind of how my channel is uh, Dodge power wagon This one's the Hell Wagon. Crew cab pickup. There's a 68 Camaro. Can't really get you any interior shot on that one. The windows are very darkly tinted. This uh, Ford 4x4, four four. this one's got a Power Stroke diesel. The uh, wrong bed variety. There's a 1960 Chevrolet station wagon, two door. Bit of a rare car. Some of the uh, old Ultimate Streetcar Challenge cars. Starting with the second gen. Camaro. And for this uh, 69 Camaro RS. This is a good time to film here because later on this is a very noisy area, as you can imagine. Another 69 Camaro. I will say the meeting I'm going to is related to the letter I got from the state of California. So I don't know if I'll have any news for you. If you guys watch that video, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm planning on doing an update video to that at some point. It's a Buick Grand National or T-Type or Regal or whatever you want to call it. You don't see Grand National badges or T-Type badges. That says True T-Type, so I'm guessing it is a T-Type Regal. Gen Camaro Z28. Of course, uh, AMC Javelin. I have no idea if this is AMC powered or not. They're hard to find. They can't even make too many of them. 66 Chevelle, the LS. Not an AAR Cuda. challenge. 
storage area. We got a SVO Fox Body Mustang. Of course, these originally had a uh, four cylinder. I only have one hour inside prior to the meeting I have to go to. And then uh, see how much more time I have to film everything. Hopefully it's not as crowded as yesterday. See the uh, course behind. That's where they set up all the cones. Right. Corvette Stingray. C2. Fortunately, the shadows aren't wonderful this time of day, but this is the best time to film these cars as the crowds are lighter. Obviously, there's not a lot of back, as much background noise. Get around the lawn chair back there. It's 1970 Chevelle. Third gen Camaro. That's Dodge right Challenger. I'm actually making my way to the entrance to go inside so I can get uh, some of the vehicles I missed in there yesterday. This Ford COE. So I'm back inside. I'm basically taking over from where I left off yesterday. I'm also switched to the iPhone for indoors. So it seemed to work pretty well yesterday, although I did have to recharge it once. I have about 45 minutes to get this hall knocked out for my meeting. Nice patina at C10. <laughs> this is the uh, Resto Mod air, air booth. They actually have a really nice booth. They have an old shipping container. sorts of stuff for pickup truck beds on vintage trucks. And the 32 Ford. This is the uh, good guys. Uh, as I was 
Yeah, yeah, most likely. I'd say it's about 75% kids on the hit one. Johnny told me, he's like, this is the first time I've got 40 or 32. Yeah. Like 25% of doing Radwood and then Long Beach. W 2002. <laughs> 70 Mark 1. to mention in this video, I mentioned in the one from yesterday, so this is a trade show. I cannot always get the uh, best shots, especially after the crowds roll in. Right now it's not too bad, which is why I cut yesterday's video short. But it was just people walking in front of me while I was filming. The square body. Obviously, being a trade show, these are all in booths, so often I cannot step back further. In this case, I can uh, to get a far away shot of some of the vehicles as well, especially when there's a lot of people here. As, uh, previous years of videos, people have asked, why can't I step back? And often it's not possible. This is the OPG Original Parts Group booth at a 66 Cadillac convertible. In fact, my father had a 66 Cadillac convertible when I was a kid. He had that and a 56. I still have his 56 that he owned years later, which is El Dorado. This actually reminds me I need to order some parts for my Apollo. I'm going to get that ready for Moon Eyes in January. This uh, 67 Olds Cutlass. Supreme. This is actually uh, Mr. October, Reggie Jackson's Emmy Challenger. A 64 Mustang with a 96. Of course, those were very reliable, very easy to work on motors, those 170, 200, etc. inline sixes. And these uh, newly manufactured DeLoreans. That's 57 convertible. Chevy Bel Air. Gold wrapped 
Ferrari. Caprice Donk. Monkey Garage, the Texas Skid Mart, C10. back on this firebird. Ski type Jaguar. So I went to my meeting and I'm back out here filming again. These are all the electric swapped classics, starting with this Ford lump side F100. It is obviously a lot more crowded. I'm going to finish off this haul and then uh, I actually do need to get back to Los Angeles because my daughter needs something. So. An electric Mustang.
like various aftermarket companies making conversion kits. somewhere online it says it's about 30 to 50,000 minimum to do an electric conversion on a classic with the available kits I guess it's cheaper if you get if you can find a wrecked Tesla and switch everything so in the future maybe the uh, cost will come down Electric Fud Porsche 911. I got this 57 Pontiac. It has electric motor as well as an LS. A bit of a hybrid, if you will. Something definitely a little bit different. Bolt on hybrid kit. That's one of the things he was talking about up there that kind of like sparked my interest a little bit because he was talking about it. Mercedes SL Gullwing. Volkswagen Transporter. Converted to electric. A lot of the electric conversions are for Volkswagen. So uh, you see the transaxle. Make it easy to uh, convert. An electric GT40. <laughs> Another Chevy pickup converted. Personally, I like uh, these with a inline six, but that's me. <laughs> Still old school. I grew up. So electric Cobra. Jaguar. Electric Testarossa. Here in the uh, 
MP3. Boosters, boy, we'll start off with this. Oh, C10, that's a C10. Continuing with the uh, Foos booth, we've got the 70 Chevelle. In fact, he's been at various booths I've seen signing autographs. I still have the pin set we did for Disneyland and California Adventure when Cars Land open. And one of these days, I'm going to get him to autograph it like in gold pen. For now, it's just sitting in my. Uh, Display case at home. So this is a Myers Manx. I built this the other day, and uh, it's actually Porsche 356 based, not Volkswagen. Six Nomad. This is the last car in the Foos booth. Side Super Cab. First, the Super Cab came out in 1974. This is the uh, Max Grundy booth. He's got this uh, 55 Pontiac. A lot of times they would take horses and ambulances and do these conversions. Sometimes they would take usually station wagons and build on a camper. So now these days it's pretty much an oddity. Yes, I got, I'm going to get the uh, interior shots for the Pontiac camper. We have the uh, Super Performance booth. This one has a huge crowd, so it would be very difficult to get these cars. I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll get a couple of their cars that are a little more accessible. A 
come in and swapped square body dually. Booth actually says Pasadena classic car. Well, I live in Pasadena. <laughs> I have plenty of classic cars. I'm not sure if it's like a club or what the deal is. Is it still big? There's a G Body Cutlass. Uh, International Scout 2. I think it's the first Scout 2 we've had. Uh, it's Emma that I've run across. We've had a couple of the earlier Scouts. things up here at SEMA 2023 for day two. Uh, I'm off to go back home now. So this uh, Saturday I'll be at Nitro Revival at Irwindale Speedway with all the great drag race history at that show. A lot of other great events coming up for the channel. Check the tentative list as soon as I post it in the comment section shortly after the video uh, goes up and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm planning on hitting in the future. Uh, this was another fantastic event here in Las Vegas. So uh, if you want to see future events, be sure to subscribe. Uh, like the video. Let me know what your favorite car was, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.